Hey there, ghouls and ghosts. I'm Maya, and I'll be haunting you with the Fallout Miami monthly update for the month of October. Try as we might, we just couldn't find a way to make everything about this month's update spooky. There's just something about the beach you can't run away from. That being said, we've certainly done our best to curse this video with as much creepy content as possible. And what better way to kick it off than with a chilling ambient track? Rusty Oasis was composed by George M. and can be heard while exploring Meridian, Miami's industrial zone, home to abandoned equipment and the husks of once bustling plants and factories. On to a similarly terrifying topic. What would scary season be like without horror movies? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. The Bog Lord movie poster was drawn by Stanislav Dikolenko. Given that the bombs fell in late October, people in pre-war Miami would surely have been enjoying their fair share of scares. We think that there ain't nothing more fitting for our setting than a good old-fashioned swamp monster flick. If you're feeling stretchy, you could try to tie this next bit of content to horror movies somehow. We're talking about swimsuits. All of this colorful women's beachwear comes courtesy of Adam Doyle. While you might not find many characters strutting their stuff in 2077's hottest swimsuits and bikinis, you're bound to encounter some ghouls still wearing the same things they were 200 plus years ago, which the player will also be able to acquire and use. Just do yourself a favor and give it a good wash first. Next, we have something we're sure you're all expecting to see in Miami, speedboats. Although they won't really be functional in gameplay terms, boats like these are necessary for the identity of our mod. Not only are they a key part of the aesthetic, they also serve a world-building purpose. The Cubanos use them to transport various goods and as a way to get to the mainland from their home in the Bayshore district of Miami Beach. The speedboat and its variants were made by Trey Ram. Back in January, we showed off a 3D model of a sailfish made by Pupcheco. Pupchico? Pupcheco. It took a minute, but we're finally happy with the texture. This won't be a creature you'll encounter in Fallout Miami, but it will be something you see as a decoration in various seaside diners. The sailfish texture was made by newcomer to the team, Dipolary. Fuck, KC. Ask them how the names are pronounced. Oh, I'm gonna embarrass myself and everyone else, including you. <sighs> and last but not least, our big spooktober reveal, the Snapjaw. This crocodilian monster can be found in Miami's more overgrown areas, and is considered to be the most dangerous predator in the vacation wasteland and the surrounding swamps. Locals tell stories about how they swallow children whole and drag Brahmin away at night. The Snapjaw is based on Hopper 31's Gator Claws revamped from the Fallout 4 Nexus, with mesh edits by Tyler Woods and new textures by Dibolary. Fallout Miami was going to use the Gator Claws from Nuka World originally, something a lot of you have asked us about. Since we now have our own marshland apex predator, that's no longer the case, and we're really happy to finally show it to you guys. Before we let you get to trick-or-treating and Halloween parties, we want to congratulate the Fallout New California team on the release of their mod. Large-scale projects like this don't always work out, we're all very aware of that. And it's heartwarming to see such a hotly anticipated mod for one of the best Fallout games reach its official release. Congratulations and great work, you guys. That's all from us for now, folks, but we'll be back next month with more Fallout Miami content for you. As always, if you think you have what it takes to help us make Fallout Miami a reality, send us your application. You'll find the link to the form in the description. Happy Halloween!